Good morning, good morning, hello and welcome to this date in history, aka TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred to date in years past, both recognized by other historians, but mainly things we personally find intriguing enough for us to bring to you. The sources of this information come from the smart device application, Today in History, What Happened Today in History, Historical Calendar, and the website on thestay.com. For links to those sources, the music, and anything else potentially interesting, check the underbar in the description below. Anyway, I am Aosander, and you are you. We will be joined by the Golden Moon at some point soon. Four days in a row. That's a new record right there. Anyway, today is uh, Moon's Day, aka Monday, April 3rd, 2023. Well, look at that. 4323. Huh, that's, that's pretty interesting. Anyway, we're going to start us off here, and uh, I'm going to be trying something a little bit uh, old, a little bit new. We've tried this before, but uh, as far as uh, handling it with uh, other people, I have a plan. So, Arthur, I have a plan. I just need money. So, anyway, we're going to start in 419. Uh, Italius ended his reign as Catholic Pope. All right. We also have in 686, Maya King Yuknun Yichdak Kihak assumed the crown of Kalkamul. Ah, okay. 801, King Louis the Pious captured Barcelona from the Moors after a siege of several months. Huh. We also have in 1043, Edward the Confessor was crowned King of England. All right. And uh, let's see here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... Let's see. What was that? Uh, 1043? All right. So, was it? All right. So, all right. Uh, we also have in 1077, the Patriarchy of Friul, the first Friulian state, was created. Okay. 1043, Edward the Confessor was crowned king of England. Okay. We already have that there. Okay. So, I, I'm... Actually, hold on a second. Um, I put that in the wrong spot. So, there we go. All right. And we have just been joined by... The Golden Moon. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Yep. Where are we at? Uh, we are at, uh, in 1312, the Second Council of Vienna, Knights Templar Suppressed. Ooh. Ooh. So Second Council of Vienna. So let's look that up here real quick. <coughs> Pardon me. In the Second Council, or in the Second Session of the Council, which took place on April 3rd, uh, 1312... Uh, this bull was approved and the Pope announced a future crusade. The Templar's property of immense value was entrusted to other persons by the bull's ad providum of 2nd May in Nupier in Concilio of 16th May. So they basically uh, like gave away their stuff to other people under the guise of in their care. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, they're out warring. Yeah. Uh, we're going to move on up to... 1367, Battle of Navarre today, La Roja, Castile, an alliance of King Peter of Castile, England, Aquitaine, Majorca, and Navarra defeated Count Henry of Castile. All right. That happened in 1367, so add that in there real quick. Then we're going to move on up into 1559. The second of two treaties making up the Peace of Chateau Cambrésis was signed, ending the Italian Wars. Okay. Yep. And moving on up to 1645, English Long Parliament passed the self-denying ordinance, limiting uh, regional armies, significant step toward new model army. So what is a new model army? Let's look that up here real quick. Uh, new model army. What is, what is new model army? There we go. Uh, okay. The new model army was a standing army formed in 1645 by the paramilitary, uh, parliamentarians during the first English Civil War, then disbanded after the Stuart Restoration in 1660. So it was a temporary army yeah. uh, to fight civil unrest and such. All right. 1679, Edmund Haley met fellow astronomer Johannes Hevesis in Danzig. Is he Haley's Comet? Uh, Edmund Haley, I yeah. believe so. Uh, astronomer, yeah. Yep. Uh... He mainly rests on his discovery of the orbit of Halley's Comet. There yeah. you go. Right there. So he met with a fellow astronomer, Johannes Hevelis in Denzing. Okay. We also have in uh, 1559, uh, well, we already got that here, uh, 1640, 1721, uh, Robert Walpole 
became Britain's first Lord of the Treasury, effective Prime Minister, although that term was never officially used. Indeed, it was considered an insult until much later. Huh. And uh, he was uh, he became, in effect, the first Prime Minister of Great Britain, though he himself denied that title. So that's why, because it was insulting. Funny how terms change and the meanings for the for the time. Yeah. So let me uh, let me add that in here real quick, doing some uh, live editing to uh, the scripts and whatnot. So anyway, 1776, George Washington received an honorary Doctor of Laws, an LLD degree from Harvard College. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. 1783, Sweden and U.S. signed a treaty of amity, uh, uh, of amity and commerce. Hmm. So, you know, doing trade, you know, yes. with the yeah. Swedes and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. We need to get that Swiss cheese. <laughs> <laughs> 1848, Thomas Douglas became the first public teacher in San Francisco. All right. That's pretty cool. First public teacher. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of weird. Yeah. While that was happening at the same time, 1848, uh, U.S. educator reformer or education reformer Horace Mann joined the U.S. Senate, repressing Massachusetts or representing Massachusetts. Not repressing. <laughs> repressing wouldn't be good. No, it would not. No. Especially while he's representing him. Yeah. We also have in 1848 as well, German explorer Ludwig Leinhardt was seen for the last time at McPherson Station, Coogan, uh, or Coogoon before he disappeared on the same expedition to reach the Swan River in Australia. Huh. All right. We also have, in uh, 1856, Palace hey. of the Grand Master of the Knights of Rhodes, uh, badly damaged by gunpowder explosion, killing 40,000 or 4,000 on island of Rhodes. Whoa. Wow. Oh, 4,000? Yeah. yeah, you know, like, military personnel must have been staff and everything. Yeah. You know, th those usually are very populated. That's, uh... Palace of the Grand Master of the Knights of Rhodes. <coughs> so, wow, it was a, uh, it was a, um, like n not Teutonic, but uh, what's like, uh, like, what what's the word? Sh chivalry, Chival chivalric, you know, type of uh, organization. You know, yeah. religious in nature. Okay. So, but military still. Anyway, uh, 1860, we have the start of the Pony Express, delivered mail by horse and rider relay teams between St. Joseph, Missouri, and Sacramento, California. So, could you imagine trying to ride that? You know, whatever your your position is on that trail. How I wonder how many it took to get across the country. Not just horses, but how many riders? I mean, one rider didn't do the whole thing. He had a stint. Yeah. Well, like, um, you know, I, I'm not sure if. Because I just saw something on how um, how uh, uh, the ancient Roman armies and such communicated the ancient um, like uh, you know communicate between the vast distances because yeah. Rome was big. Yeah. Uh, they had one option where they just had one rider just go, and that took like you know four weeks or so. And they had another option where it could be a relay. Yeah. So he he goes up and he passes it off, and then that reduces it to two weeks. Yeah. So cut it in half. Then. Yeah. But I wonder if the Pony Express, which one of those two they used, if not both. Oh, it had to be a whole team of riders. Oh, yeah. Someone's not going to go clear across the country. Well, I mean, uh, did a Pony Express rider uh, go fully across the country? Um, all right, well, here's 10 things you may not know about the Pony Express. It's more than twice as fast as its competitors. It was a financial flop. Uh, there was a weight limit for Pony Express, of course. Uh, riders were t required to take a loyalty oath. Uh, mail was carried in a specifically designed saddlebag. Okay, ordinary people almost never use the Pony Express. Uh, one rider completed a 380-mile run in less than two days. Wow. Well, so Whoa. one rider did do it. Well, the, no, the across the country is is 3,000 yeah, miles. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, Riders didn't have the deadliest job on the Pony Express. Uh, Buffalo Bill Cody probably wasn't a Pony Express rider, and the Transcontinental Telegraph dealt the Pony Express its death blow. That's right. Between the Telegraph and the rail, um, the Pony Express didn't last, you know, really that long. Actually, yeah. like, how long did the Pony Express last? Uh, eighteen months. Oh man. Yeah. No, it wasn't around for that long. Sure is famous for eighteen months. I know. You know that that just that 
that uh, that signifies um, like how crucial it was. Yeah. So you know, like even in that short amount of time, it it, it made that much of an impact. So. Although it was a financial flop, so. Well, it was not. It made for money. Um, you know, something like that would not be made today because everything has to turn a profit, no matter what. Like. Well, it only lasted eighteen months. It could have been uh, nothing more than financial too. Yeah. Did them under. Well, that and uh, it was it was faster and cheaper with you know the telegraph, and uh, with uh, rail. Once they connected the rail once, and everything. Once it did, yeah. Yeah. But telegraph. When did it come on? Um. When. Uh, was the telegraph used? Uh, 1844. And then, uh, but Pony Express was 1860 through 61. Uh, but that must have been like, you know, like they, 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 somebody had to make the wires from one end of the, of the coast to the the, other. This is paper, which is sometimes absolutely necessary. Yeah. As opposed to the wire. Yeah. You, you need documentation. Signatures, documentation, yeah, for sign- yeah. signatures and all that stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Um, moving on up to 1868, a Hawaiian surfed the highest wave ever, a 50-foot tidal wave. Hmm. That's a pretty tall wave. Oh, very tall. Yeah. <laughs> very tall, but a tidal wave? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. 1882, wood block alarm was invented. When the alarm rang, it dropped 20 wood blocks. All right. Hopefully okay. not on your head. <laughs> like, clunk, 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 clunk. How big are the blocks? <laughs> like, it's the alarm that wakes you up and puts you back to sleep forever. <laughs> 1882 as well, uh, Robert Ford killed Jesse James. Ooh. Yeah. 1885, pardon me, Gottlieb Daimler was granted a German patent for a light, high-spec, four-stroke engine, which it used seven months later to create the world's first motorcycle, the Daimler Wright Wagon. So that's cool. So let's cool. Uh, let's take a look at this images. The world's very first uh, motorcycle, right there. Look at that. And it had a training wheel. <laughs> but you're you're just sitting, and it looks like uh, it's just hollow. So it's just like this, like like you're on a horse. Well, yeah. But yeah, so that's that's the four-stroke engine. You know, seven well, months prior. That's what they copied after a horse, I guess. They didn't, they hadn't conceived of a seat yet. I guess so. We also have, uh, 1888, the first of 11 unsolved brutal murders of women committed in or near the impoverished Whitechapel district in the east of London occurred. So, uh, that sounds like Jack the Ripper. I don't know. His, I'm, I'm not aware of his dates, but, uh, when was did in the Jack the Ripper starts? Uh, August and November 1888. 1888. There you go. Okay. Well, well, so, August. Um, that's that's a couple months from now. But the first yeah. of eleven brutal murders of women committed in or near impoverished Whitechapel's history in the east end of London. That's that's. Yeah. That sounds like Jack the Ripper. Yeah. Sure does. Anyway, 1893. Uh, I don't know why this is here. Uh. Oh, that's why. First New South Wales versus Queensland FC game at Brisbane Expedition Ground. Okay. 1895, the trial in the libel case brought by Oscar Wilde began, eventually resulting in his imprisonment on charges of homosexuality. Dang. Uh, 1910, the highest mountain in North America, Alaska's Mount McKinley, claimed to have been the first climbed by four local men. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. 1913, British suffragette Emmeline Pankhurst was sentenced to three years in jail for incitement uh, to uh, place an explosive in a building at Walton. Good grief. Huh. Well, I want to back up to the 1910. Uh, have they renamed Mount McKinley? Um, Alaska's Mount McKinley. Let's check this out here. Uh, Denali, also called Mount McKinley. So, so it's Denali. It's a dual name, not that it's been changed. Yeah, uh, it's pronounced. It, it's 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 said. It's categorized as Denali on National Geographic Society. Okay. So Mount McKinley, it's now a secondary name. Okay. Uh, so at some point they, because it was Mount McKinley. Yeah. No one has that, but somewhere in the back of my head, I heard it was changed or something. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah. Nineteen seventeen. Uh, Alfred Steiglitz opened the first one-person show of Georgia O'Keeffe's work at two ninety-one Art Gallery in New York. Okay. 
I also have in uh, 1917 as well, Vladimir Lenin arrived in Petrograd, returning to Russia from exile in Switzerland. New style, April 16th. So, uh, yeah, not not a good guy right there, that Lenin. That, no. that was after, uh, yeah, after uh, he, he, he was exiled and everything. Uh, oh, do you want to uh, start a revolution? Like, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, no, Animated History does, uh, does a good uh, series on... on the rise of the Soviet Union. Um, so, uh, what else do we have? Uh, 1918, the U.S. House of Representatives accepted American Creed written by Will, uh, William Tyler. So, what is American Creed? Uh, let's check this out here. Is that like a book or a poem or something? Oh, the American's Creed is the title of a resolution passed by the U.S. House of Representatives on April 3rd, 1918. In its statement written in 1917 by William Tyler Page is an entry into patriotic contest that he won. Huh. So that's interesting. Yeah. I'm going to add that into the underbar. Yeah. American Creed. Yeah, the American's Creed. American Creed. Whichever. Uh, 1920, attempts are made to carry out the failed assassination attempt on General Mannerheim, led by Alexander Weckman, by order of Aino Raha, during the White Guard Parade in Tampier, Finland. Dang. Uh, 1922, Joseph Stalin was appointed General Secretary of the Russian Communist Party by an ailing Vladimir Lenin. So, yeah, and he put him there uh, to uh, make sure, he, you know, because that was a nothing position. Mm -hmm. But he had the power to, to schedule people. Yeah. So, he, yeah. Uh, he's, a, he's a tricky... Up, it ended up a very powerful position. Yes. So... We also have in 1924, Istanbul's Ottoman uh, Top, uh, Topkapi Palace was converted into a Muslim uh, or into a museum on orders of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. Huh. You don't get Turkish history very often. Yeah. Istanbul's Ottoman Topkapi Palace. Let's take a look at that. Huh. Okay. So it's just a palace. All right. Uh, let's see here. 1925, Great Britain went back to a gold standard. Well, that's good. 1926, second flight of a liquid-fueled rocket by Robert uh, Goddard. Huh. I also have uh, 1927, Interstate Commerce Com transferred Ohio to Eastern Time Zone. Say that again? Uh, Interstate Commerce Com transferred Ohio to Eastern Time Zone. Huh. So it sounds like they used to be yeah. part of uh, Central. They changed the timeline. Yeah. Yeah, the literal line. Of, yeah. yeah. Uh, 1929, RMS Queen Mary was ordered from John Brown and Company Shipbuilding and Engineering by Cunard Line. So the Queen Mary that we have uh, yeah. now in the um, yeah. uh, Long, Long Beach. Beach. Yeah. 1930, the Second Academy Awards, the Broadway Melody, Warner, Baxter, and Mary Pickford won. First time Academy Awards were broadcast on the radio. Huh. 1930 as well, Stanley Cup. Uh, Montreal Forum, Montreal, Quebec, Montreal Canadiens defeated Boston Bruins 4-3 for a 2-0 series sweep and their third championship. Huh. We also have in 1933, the first flight over Mount Everest by the British Houston Mount Everest Flight Expedition led by the Marquis of Clydesdale and funded by Lucy, Lady Houston. So that's cool. Flying, Flying over Mount Everest, Everest yeah. yeah. Uh, while that was happening as well, 1933, then longest North American hockey game required a one hour, 46 minute, 46 second overtime as Maple Leaf Ken Doherty scored to beat Canadians 1-0. to zero. Wow. Almost one That's and three quarter hour of overtime. Overtime, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. whoa. Yeah. 1936, Brunko Richard Hop, uh, Hoffman was executed for the kidnapping and death of Charles Augustus Lindbergh Jr., the baby son of pilot Charles Lindbergh. Mm. So they executed him on the stage. 1941, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill warned Soviet leader Joseph Stalin that a German invasion is imminent. Oh, how, how right he was. Yeah. Operation Barbarossa. When was Operation Barbarossa? Operation Barbarossa was uh, June 22nd, so January, February, March, April, May, June, so two months. Oh, wow. Uh, we also have 1942, during World War II, Japanese forces began an assault on the United States and Filipino troops on the Bataan Peninsula. 1944, British dive bombers attacked German battleship Tripitz, or Tirpitz at Kafoyorden, Norway. 
Uh, Turpin, that was uh, that was significant. I believe that was uh, when they caught it in the fjord. I saw a video, I believe, about that ship not too long ago, actually. Um, but uh, but yeah, like uh, it was it was a, a very powerful battleship, and it was caught in this fjord, which is a, a narrow you know thing yeah. of, of water, yeah. you know, with cliffs and everything. Not a good place. <laughs> Wonder what it was doing there. Uh, I think it was going to. Um, <coughs> Go to some harbor or something that gets, uh, like maintenance or dry docked or something. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, we're gonna move on up to uh, 1944 as well. The U.S. Supreme Court, Smith versus Allwright, white primaries were unconstitutional. White primaries. What the hell is that? Only whites can vote, I guess. What? White primaries were primary elections held in the Southern United States in which only white voters were permitted to participate. Wow. Yeah. Well, that is unconstitutional. Yeah. So, yeah. 1946, Japanese Lieutenant General Masaru Homa was executed in the Philippines for leading the Bataan Death March. I've heard about the Bataan Death March, but let's uh, let's educate ourselves real quick. And actually, do I... Uh, yeah, let's uh, get the wiki for that. Um, the Bataan Death March was the forcible transfer by the Imperial Japanese Army of between 75,000 uh, U.S. and Filipino prisoners of war from... Shaishten Point, Bagak, Bataan, and Marivels to Camp O'Donnell, Capas, Tarlac, via uh, San Fernando, Pampagana. I can't pronounce all that. Yeah. But, um, wow. So that's, uh, that's awful. 75,000? 75,000. So, oops, hold on a second. Uh, not the Maldives. No, I don't want the Maldives. I want the Wikipedia. There we go. Okay. Bataan Death March. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on a second. There we go. All right. And I screwed up yet again. Um, but the Bataan Death March, uh, exact figures are, are unknown. Estimates range from 5,500 to 18,650 prisoner of war deaths. They're prisoners of war being yeah. uh, transferred. Uh, so. Japanese are pretty brutal. Yep. 1948, U.S. President Harry Truman signed the Marshall Plan to rebuild war-torn Western Europe after World War II, granting an initial $5 billion in aid to 16 European countries. Good. Yeah, that Marshall Plan was just crucial. Yeah. While that was going on in 1948 as well, in Jingzhou Province, South Korea, a civil war-like period of violence and human rights abuses began, known as the Jingzhou Uprising. Dang. Uh, 1948, U.S. Female Figure Skating Championship uh, was won. Why, why do we have these figure skating championships? I don't care. Let's get rid of those. Who cares about figure skating, right? Uh, 1953. Go figure. Yeah. 1953. Um, actually, yeah. Uh, U.S. Magazine, or American Magazine, TV Guide published first issue. Hey, the TV Guide. Yeah. Uh, cover features photo of Lucille Ball's newborn baby boy, Desiderio Alberto Arnaz IV, later professionally known as Daisy Arnaz Jr. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, we also have, in 1954, Don Perry climbed a 20-foot rope in under 2.8 seconds, AAU record. Wow, that's quick. Yeah. Uh, Didn't know they even had a record for that. They have a record for everything. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, remember, they, they have a record for, like, rolling an egg with your nose across the lawn <laughs> or something like... But they don't tell us how, how long the rope was to climb. 20 foot. Oh, they did? I missed it. Climbed a 20 foot rope. Okay. Yeah. 1955, the American Civil Liberties Union announced it will defend Allen Ginsberg's book, Howl, against obscenity charges. Good. 1956, Hudsonville's Standell Tornado... The western half of the lower peninsula of Michigan was struck by a deadly F5. Dang. Mm. 1956 as well, Bulgarian Vice Premier uh, Trazizo Kostov rehabilitated, although he was executed seven years prior in 1949. When? Yeah. Bulgarian Vice Premier Trazizo Kostov rehabilitated. They, they labeled him as rehabilitated. After he's dead? After his execution. Okay. Well, I mean, we, we do things like that all the time. Like, like weird, like, post-death things. Like, uh, it took 300 years to canonize uh, uh, Joan of Arc. And we posthumously, you know, award medals to people all the time, you know, during times of conflict and such. Um, 
Yeah, but this is di- kind of different. Well, they, they the, the for whatever reason, the council wanted to make a record that they believe that this individual has been successfully rehabilitated seven years after they killed him. So probably so we can, they could swallow him better in history. Probably. No. Soften up history a bit. Yeah. Uh, 1958, uh, actually 1957, Samuel Packett's, or Beckett's play Endgame premiered in London as a French language production. Oh, so French production in, in England. Yeah. Uh, 1958, Fidel's Ca- uh, Fidel Castro's Rebels attacked Havana. Yeah. Huh. 1960. Back by us, we might, might uh, add. Yep. 1960, Elvis Presley recorded It Is Now or Never, Fever, and Are You uh, Lonesome Tonight at RCA Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Huh. 1962, U.S. jockey Eddie Arcaro retired after 31 years, 24,092 races. Yeah, he was a great racer. That's a lot of races. Yeah. Holy crap. 1964, U.S. and Panama agreed to resume diplomatic relations. Oh. Yeah. 1965, the first atomic-powered spacecraft, SNAP, was launched. Hmm. That's cool. 1966, Soviet Luna 10 completed its first orbit of the moon. 1966, Tom Seaver signed with the Mets for a reported $50,000 bonus. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's just a sign. I get probably out of high school. Now, here's something interesting. 1967, 113 uh, East Europeans attending World Amateur Hockey Championships in Vienna asked for political asylum. So... Hmm. Trying to escape uh, from Eastern Europe, it yeah. sounds like. Yeah. I uh, remember something about that. Huh. Uh, one year later, 1968, North Vietnam agreed to meet U.S. representatives to set up preliminary peace talks. Yeah, I remember that well. We're going to get back to that here uh, one year later, but uh, right now, 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his I've been, I've been to the mountaintop speech. Unfortunately, he was going to be assassinated the next day. So. Mm. I know what's coming tomorrow. That's not good. Uh, 1968, uh, Planet of the Apes starring Charlton Heston and Roger McDowell premiered nationally in the U.S. A lot of stuff happened in 68. Yeah. Three big things right there. But then 1969, you know, going back to this Vietnam thing, United States Secretary of Defense Melvin Laird announced that the U.S. will start to Vietnamize the war effort. This Vietnamization policy will see less, uh, will see to less... U.S. involvement in the conflict. So we're stepping back. That's good. Uh, moving on up to 1970, as part of a new Get Tough policy in Northern Ireland, uh, Ian Freeland of the British Army warned that those throwing petrol bombs could be shot dead. Well, I mean, if somebody is throwing explosives at me and I had a gun, I'd shoot them. I'm not going to warn them. You're throwing a grenade at me. What do you expect? Like, yeah, that's, that's a little bit of a ridiculous uh, warning there. Uh, but this is interesting. 1973 as well. Uh, we got the first mobile phone call was made in downtown Manhattan, New York City, by Motorola employee Martin Cooper to the Bell Labs headquarters in New Jersey to Joel S. Engel. That's awesome. Yeah. That, that's cool. First mobile phone. Yeah. First. Uh, big, big ass. Remember those uh, things? The, the first brick. One? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 1974. The 1974 super outbreak occurred, the second biggest tornado outbreak in recorded history after the 2011 super outbreak. The death toll is 350, or 315, with nearly 5,500 injured. Damn. And I believe the chant was global cooling. Uh, <laughs> That's what it originally started when they flipped to global warming. Oh, you lost me. Now you're changing your mind. Oh, right here. We have more stats on it. 24-hour period with 148 confirmed tornadoes in 13 states, killing mm-hmm. approximately three, 315 people and injuring nearly 5,500. Damn. Wow. Uh, while that was happening, 1974 as well, uh, gold hit a record $197 an ounce in Paris. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Yeah. 1975, Bobby Fischer stripped of world chess title for refusing to defend it. Title awarded to Russian Anthony Karpov. All right. So he didn't well, want to defend his title. Back in the day with gold, just we went along really quick. Uh, gold in the U.S. was pegged at $36 an ounce for years never changed that's what the government priced to that yeah I remember that yeah well I, I wasn't you, alive you weren't, you weren't born that was way back I remember reading about that like it was yeah. a stagnant like you yeah, know that, that's it you buy, and you couldn't own it other than jewelry things like that yeah maybe we should go back to something like that you know because it, it's more concrete 
Like, yeah, unfortunately, it gives power to the government, but what doesn't give power to the government? But you can't just so. lock a price in on something and say, this is what it's going to be for the next how many ever years. We're never going to change it. It's not realistic. True, because... Because uh, a loaf of bread doesn't stay the same. Well, you can make loaves of bread. There's only a finite amount of gold. There's only X amount. That we know of. Yes. There could be tons more other well, places that we haven't discovered yet. Well, when That's we find the that, then we will make the necessary adjustments. Until then, we got to have a, a stabilized income or a stabilized uh, economy. Because, like, what we have now, everything, it's going to collapse. It's not good. It's got to fluctuate. So, as the dollar devalues, gold's got to go up. But we got to have the dollar. What I'm saying is we got to have it based off of something. The dollar is just based oh, off of the itself. Dollar, yeah, I'm saying gold, though. we got to have it based off of gold. we got to have... You're saying go back on the gold standard. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Anyway, uh, 1975, Bobby Fischer refused to play... Oh, yeah, we already read that. Uh, 1975, uh, uh, during the Vietnam War, Operation Baby Lifts, uh, a mass evacuation of children in the closing stages of the war began. So they're, they're, they're yeah. pulling all they're the, kids the kids out. out. Uh, 1976, France performed a nuclear test at Mirror uh, Atoll. So yeah, like uh, people don't realize that France, uh, they 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 have uh, done nuclear tests. They have set off nuclear uh, weapons for you know research purposes, not for war. But yeah, so is uh, so is the UK, uh, Australia, I think maybe I'm not sure. Uh, not, uh, no, it's not Australia. Uh, although the UK did uh, test on Australia's soil. Anyway, uh, 1976 as well, Philadelphia Flyers won record tying 20th straight NHL home game. Cool. Yeah. That's a lot of games. Uh, 1977, Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg adopt summertime. All right. I don't know what that means, but... Uh, like, summertime, like, uh, I guess, like, a, a daylight saving time? I guess. I let me, let, let's look this up here real quick, see if this yields anything. Let's see here. A daylight saving time by country, so I guess it's it's their version of summertime, their okay. daylight saving time. Okay. All right. Uh, do I have the death march in here? Yes, I do. All right. Well, damn it. I keep screwing up. Uh, anyway, let's move on up. Uh, 1977, Egyptian President Anwar Sadat's first meeting with U.S. President Jimmy Carter. Pardon me. Jimmy Carter. Huh. Mm -hmm. 1978, 50th Academy Awards, Annie Hall, Richard Dreyfuss, and Diane Keaton win. Okay. Well, that was going on, 1978 as well. European market and China signed a trade agreement. That's a little bit more significant. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah. And it's, it's in this uh, article. It's in this source as well. It's right there. So. We also have in 1978, Larry King moved his radio show from Miami, Florida to Washington, D.C. All right. We also have in 1979, Jane M. Byron, uh, the Democrat, elected first woman mayor of Chicago, Illinois. All right. First woman mayor of Chicago, okay. All right. In 1980, France performed a nuclear test again. And while that was happening, we performed a nuclear test in the Nevada test site. Uh, 1980 as well, U.S. Congress restored a federal trust relationship with the 501 members of the Shivwitz, Kanosh, Kusharam, and the Indian Peaks and Cedar City bands of the Paiute people of Utah. Wow. Cool. Okay. 1981, the Osborne One, the first successful portable computer, was unveiled at the West Coast Computer Fair in San Francisco. And that reminds me, like, uh, I, I think I told you I saw that, uh, the movie about Tetris? Um, you didn't mention it, no. Like, well, they made a movie about Tetris, like, uh, the actual, like, uh, how, how the guy went around and got licensing and everything. Oh, I saw that. He, he, the guy from, uh, Russia? Yeah, well, well, he went to Russia. Because Tetris was invented in Russia. Yeah. Um, but how the guy got it out? Yeah, well, yeah, it, it talked. Yeah, it talked about how the guy got it out, uh, but it also talked about uh, corporate involvement. How other companies, like, uh, like uh, I think it was um, uh, Sony uh, or or Sega, uh, so somebody had rights to it for like, in Japan or whatever, but uh, yeah. not handheld or something. And uh, there's one scene where they went in, and he's talking with Nintendo, and he's like really getting in, you know, like uh, like rubbing shoulders with them. And then they he had to sign an NDA because and there's this this thing covered up. And by the way, anybody who, like please no, watch the movie. Uh, like I, you know, spoiler alert here. He had yeah non-disclosure agreement. There's like this thing under a cloth. And he's like you know why do I have to sign this? Like because because you're gonna be the fifth person in the world to see this. And then he unveiled it. It was the Game Boy. 
Mm. Yeah. Well, see, originally, and what the difficulty was, um, in Russia, you couldn't own anything. Yeah. So the government owned it. Yeah. So it was years until whatever that is, there is a time limit of some sort. Well, no, he see, finally made a lot of money off it, but initially he didn't make it down. No, no, see, here's here's what happened. He went in there. And to get it out of the country was tough. No, 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 no. The, the, the guy from our country... It's not. It's not about the. It does talk about the guy who made it. We do. Oh. We do look at you know about. No, but it's more about the corporate, the the licensing, oh, okay. the legal, the, you know, all that later. stuff. It's not the original uh, development of it. No, no, not the original development. But it gets into that and all that yeah. stuff. But um, no, like uh, he goes to Russia, and then like uh, you know. The, the movie happens and everything like you know like they're uh, they're threatening him with gulag and all of a sudden you know there's really a lot of tensions but then they realize that people have uh, have you know licenses without you know the Soviet Union's consent to sell this game all over the world and it's making millions of dollars and Russia's not seeing any penny of that mm -hmm. so that's what um, the movie's portraying that as being one of the pushers towards uh, uh, communism allowing capitalism in mm. and the fall of the Soviet Union because it also mentions uh, when Gorbachev resigned in the uh, movie okay. but uh, yeah, Gorbachev is actually in the movie too ah. they, uh, he meets Gorbachev oh, okay. so it's a crazy awesome movie mm. but let's get back on track here man I, I, I'm all excited I want to watch that movie again like right now uh, but I also have in 1981 uh, Arnie Bolt of Saskatchewan jumps 6 feet uh, 8.25 inches with one leg. Whoa. How does he do that? I, I had squats. <laughs> you know, that's to be one hell of a leg right there. We also have uh, 1982, 136 Grand National, 48-year-old Dick Saunders won aboard 7-1 uh, favorite Gritter, oldest jockey to win the event at 48. Cool. Uh, 1982, UN Secretary Council demanded Argentina withdraw from the Falkland Islands. Oh, there we go. Uh, 1983, Nabisco Dina. You know what? This is golf. I don't care. So I'm just going to scroll past that. Yeah. 1985, French government adopted an equal electoral system. All right. 1985 as well, Vic Elliott pocketed 15,780 pool balls in 24 hours in London. <laughs> like you said, it's a record for everything. Yep. One year later, 1986, the U.S. national debt hit two uh, trillion. <laughs> Now that's billion, just, billion, that, trillion. That, yeah. That's just a hiccup. Yeah. <laughs> Nineteen eighty-seven. Uh, Duchess of Windsor's jewels were auctioned for thirty-one million three hundred eighty thousand one hundred ninety-seven pounds. Yeah. That's pretty heavy. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. a lot of pounds. I wish I wish I could remember the number of what each indiv individual U.S. citizen owes on our thirty-one trillion dollar debt, but it's an astronomical number for each individual person. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, we're going to move on up to 1988. Somalia and Ethiopia signed an accord about Oganon Desert. Huh. Uh, 1989, the U.S. Supreme Court upheld the jurisdictional rights of tribal courts under the Indian Child Welfare Act of 1978 in Mississippi Shoshaw Band versus Holyfield. <coughs> <coughs> jurisdictional rights, yeah. I, I agree. You know, they, they should have, you know, their own, well... To certain to certain degrees, laws and all that stuff. So, <coughs> pardon me. Hmm. Uh, 1993, the Grand National Horse Race was declared void for the first time and only so far time. Hmm. Only so far what? Only time. So, and so far only time. Bah, I can't read. It was declared void for the first and so far only time. It's so, kind of written weird. Yeah. Well, I wrote it weird for some reason. Uh, oh, after 30 of 39 runners carried on racing despite a false start, bookmakers were forced to refund an estimated 75 million pounds in bet state. Whoops, oh, whoops, wow. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> well, that explains that why hurt. it's the only time. <laughs> Yikes. <coughs> uh, 1994, first <laughs> roster of Silver Bullets all-female pro baseball team was announced. Okay. 1995, Howard Stern got in trouble for disparage or for disparaging remarks about <coughs> Selena, Selena Gomez or something. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. And hey, by the way, good news for you. Unless there's another person on the show, we're skipping cricket. Yay! 
1996, a United States Air Force Boeing T-43 crashed near Dubrovnik Airport in Croatia, killing 35, mm. including the Secretary of Commerce, Ron Brown. Ooh. So I, uh, I guess that's our Secretary of Commerce. Uh, 1996 as well, suspected Unabomber Theodore Kaczynski was captured at his Montana cabin in the U.S. We only know him as Ted Kaczynski. Yep. 1997, the Thait massacre began in Algeria. All but one of the 53 inhabitants of Thait were killed by guerrillas. Jeez. Oh, man. Massacre. 2000, U.S. versus Microsoft Corps. Microsoft was ruled to have violated United States antitrust law by keeping an oppressive thumb on its competitors. Yeah, they were known for yeah. that. Yeah, and look at them now. They're even yeah. worse. 2004, Islamic terrorists involved in the 2004 Madrid train bombings were trapped by the police in their apartment and killed themselves. All right. Good. Bye-bye. Um, 2007, Rolling Stones guitarist Keith Richard denied saying he smoked his father's ashes in an interview with NME. How can you even smoke ashes? That doesn't yeah, make any sense. Yeah, it's really not ashes. Yeah. It's really granular. I don't even know if you can light it up. Well, no, like it is ashes. Yeah, well, so, it's the remains. Yeah. But it's not like an ash like we think of. It, you know, it, it's, it's more or less the same thing, you know, what it's made of. Yeah. Like, it, it, it you know, ash is a byproduct of, of, of the combustion. Okay. Yeah, so. Um, 2007, a conventional train world speed record, a French G, a TDV, the TGV, train on the LGV East uh, EST high speed line set an official new world rec uh, new world speed record which what was it let's uh, let's see here oops why do I keep screwing up all right there we go um, at 574.8 kilometers an hour or 357.2 miles per hour that's pretty fast yeah so dang also, I have in uh, 2008, uh, ATA Airlines, once one of the 10 largest U.S. passenger airlines and largest charter airline, filed for bankruptcy for the second time in five years and ceased all operations. Jeez. 2008 as well, Texas law enforcement condone, or cordoned off the FLD's YFZ ranch. Eventually, 533 women and children would be taken into state custody. What? Why? What is that? I don't know. Is that some kind of like cult or something? Sounds like it, but I've never uh, heard. YFZ Ranch. Um, yearning for Zion Ranch. Yep, cult. Yep. All right, that answers that question. So let's uh, add that wiki into the underbar right there. Uh, let's see here. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Uh, do I have that link in here? Yes, I do. All right, get rid of this. Let's move on up here. Um, what does this say? Uh, 2008, Mariah Carey overtook Elvis Presley's record of 17 number one U.S. hits with her 18th Touch My Body. Uh, only the Beatles have more with 20. Wow. Wow, she's up there in a pretty elite class. I wouldn't call it elite with a song with that name, Touch My Body, really. Like, dude, have some, have some dignity, lady. Jesus. Uh, 2009, Jiverly and uh, uh, Antares Wong Open fire at the American Civic Association Immigration Center in Brimming, uh, Bringhampton, New York, killing 13 and wounding 4 before committing suicide. Dang. So a mass shooter. 2009, Australia formally adopted the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Uh, so for the, um, uh, what are they, uh, uh, the Aborigines. Yeah, there you yeah. go, I couldn't think of it either. 2010, Matt Smith's first appearance as the 11th Doctor in BBC program Doctor Who during the 11th hour episode. Uh, all right. So Matt Smith, Doctor Who. Which, which one was this again? Was he the War Doctor? Uh, Matt Smith. Let's see here. Oh, no, this guy. Okay. I remember him then. Going to move on up to 2010 as well. Apple Inc. released the first generation iPad, a tablet computer. Mm -hmm. uh, birthday of the iPad. Yeah. 2012, Spanish unemployment reached a record high. Youth unemployment standed at 50%. Yes, how horrible. That's insane. Uh, 2013, more than 50 people died in floods resulting from record-breaking rainfall in La Plata and Buenos Aires, Argentina. 
Ay, ay, ay. 2016, Panama Papers were published. 11.5 million confidential documents from offshore law firm Mossack Fonseca exposed widespread illegal activities including fraud, kleptocracy, tax evasion, and the violation of international sanctions by the world's elite and the world's largest ever data leak. In total, it revealed information on 214,488 offshore companies. Ooh. Holy God. And nothing happened. No. There's never any consequences, it seems like. Bullshit. Hate that. 2017, a bomb exploded in the St. Petersburg metro system, killing 14 and injuring several more people. That sucks. Uh, 2019, ex-Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak went on trial for the 1MDB uh, corruption scandal in Kuala Lumpur. Pled not guilty. Of course he does. Uh, 2018, the YouTube headquarters shooting. It's already been five years. A 38-year-old gunwoman opened fire at YouTube headquarters in San Bruno, California, injuring three people before committing suicide. So, like, and she did it because she felt like she was being suppressed or something, and she, she wanted to get famous on YouTube, and she wasn't growing fast enough, so she snapped. I don't know the actual story. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I've heard. But... Uh, 2019, Brunei brings, uh, brought into force new Sharia law punishing gay sex and adultery with death by stoning, prompting widespread condemnation. Jesus, that's still happening in today's world? Wow. And in 2022, the Taliban government banned the cultivation of opium in Afghanistan with consequences for world supply as it produces 80%. <laughs> and, that's, and that's why we were at war in Afghanistan for, uh, for the... Uh, for gold, oil, and drugs, you know the poppy fields for opium, you know in Afghanistan. Yeah. That, that's why it wasn't a, it wasn't for terrorists. No, it was money. Uh, uh, we also have in 2022, Pakistan plunged into constitutional crisis after Prime Minister Imran Khan Khan dissolved Parliament and called for new elections, avoiding a no confidence vote. Dang. Why does that say sports history above it? Uh, he's a cricketer. As well. Oh, oh God. So he's a prime minister of Pakistan and he's a cricketer. Okay. Huh. Anyway, before we move on to person deaths, audience, were there any articles that grabbed your attention more than most? Anything you wish we had elaborated more about? Anything you would have liked to add uh, had you been here? Start a dialogue down in the comments section. Uh, oh, who's Isaac F? WTF? Uh, all right. Well, hello. Welcome to the show, Isaac F. Anyway. Starting us off in 1016, we have Zing Zong, was a Chinese emperor. Mm. Okay. Yeah, does he have that sing song about him? So. A little zing in his song. Yeah. Well, so we have in, uh, 13, in uh, yeah, 1367, Henry IV of England, King of England and Lord of Ireland, uh, 1399 through 1413, born in Boilingbroke Castle, Lincolnshire, England. All right. Uh, 1395, uh, George of Trebizond, <laughs> Greek philosopher, scholar, and humanist, died in 1846. 1693, George Edwards, English naturalist and ornithologist, father of British ornithology, which is the study of birds, uh, born in Stratford, Essex, England. Well, thank you. I'm glad uh, you knew that was the study of birds. Yep. Uh, we also have Washington Irving in 1783, actually not yet quite there. Uh, we're going to take John Hansen, 1715, was a Continental Congressman, the first U.S. President under the Articles of Confederation, mm. born in Maryland. Um, and yeah, this was before the, uh, the country became the yeah. country. Yeah. So, but when we were, like, we still need a leader. Yeah. So George Washington was the first President of the United States. But he wasn't the president of the nation that formed after the um, after the uh, the revolution. There was right, a there was right. a series of, of things that happened, but we still needed government. We still needed. Right. It wasn't anarchy for ten years. Right. So. Right. right. Yeah. So happy birthday, first president. We also have in 1715 as well uh, William Watson, English physician, physicist, and botanist. All right. Uh, 1770 Theodoros Kolokotrinos. Cotronus, Cotronus, uh, Greek general and leader of the Greek War of Independence from 1821 to 29, born in Ramovuni, Messina, Ottoman Empire, leader of the of the revolution. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 1783, actually not there yet. Hold on. 1778, Pierre Brutonneau, 
French doctor who performed the first successful tracheotomy. Oh, 1778? Are yep. you kidding me? Did a trach? Dang. Wow. Yeah. Now successful, we're, we might add. Yes, first successful one. 1781, we have Swam in Iran, uh, Indian religious leader. Uh, Swam, Swami Narayan, or something like that. I don't know. That's a residual from back in the day. We, we used to throw in the hard words and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Have fun, you know, in weird ways. Uh, then now we get 1783. We have Washington Irving, a U.S. short story writer, essayist, biographer, and historian. Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Oh, is that the guy? Yep. Uh, we also have in uh, 1791, Anne Lister, English diarist, the first modern lesbian, mountaineer, and traveler. Born in Halifax, England. Okay. All right. We have Charles Wicks, 1798, born on this date. A, a U.S. Uh, admiral, or an American admiral, geographer, and explorer. We also have uh, Ed Edward Everett Hale, 1822, a U.S. minister, historian, author. Uh, oh, Hale. Oh, Hale, no. Uh, 1823, Boss Tweed, a U.S. politician and corrupt New York fraudster, born in New York City, New York. He's a fraudster. <laughs> Uh, Thomas Balta in 1876 was a Czech businessman uh, who founded Bata Shoes. All right. What shoes? Bata Shoes. Never heard of it. Um, let's see here. Don't need to either. Let's see if they're still around. Yeah, they are. Bata mm -hmm. Shoes. Footwear retail company. Uh, yeah, they're still around. Founded well, in 1894. Women, men, and kids. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this guy, then we also have uh, who's next on this list. Okay, so that's a while. Uh, 1885, we have Joseph Aloysius Alan Dwan, Canadian U.S. screenwriter and film director, Robin Hood, Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm, Sands of Iwo Jima. Ooh. Uh, born in Toronto, Ontario. All right. 1888, Thomas C. Kincaid, U.S. Admiral. That name is in my head for some reason, so I put that in here. We also have Henry Bruce or Henry Luce, 1898, a U.S. publisher who co-founded Time Magazine. Uh -huh. Yeah. Albert Walsh, in 1900, Canadian lawyer and politician who was the first lieutenant governor of Newfoundland. All right. Uh, 1903, Kamala Devi <laughs> Chattanooga, Indian social reformer and freedom fighter. Then we have uh, 1905, Robert Sink was a U.S. general. Ah. Yeah. Uh, you know, better than being an admiral with a name like that. That's not a good sign. Yeah, not a good thing at all uh, to be called Sink. Yeah. <laughs> we also have 1910, Homesick James uh, Williamson, a U.S. blues slide guitarist and singer, Elmore James Band, 1955 through 62, born in Somerville, Tennessee, date of birth variously reported as 1905, 1910, 1914, the surname is also disputed, so. Not familiar with him. I love some of that. I love that old blues music. Mm. Man, they have such soul in that stuff. It's really great. We also have 1922 Doris Day, a U.S. singer, animal welfare activist, and actress known as the Girl Next Door actress. Pillow Talk, the man who knew too much. Born in Cincinnati, Ohio. We also have Marlon Brando. Uh, 1924, a U.S. actor, the godfather, a streetcar named Desire, on the waterfront, to name a few, born in Omaha, Nebraska. Yeah. And he died in 2004. Rest in peace. Oh. Uh, 1926, Virgil Ivan Gus Grissom, U.S. Air Force Colonel, test pilot, and NASA, NASA astronaut, Mercury, uh, yeah, uh, Mercury 1, or Mercury, Redstone 4, Gemini 3, and Apollo 1. Born in Mitchell, Indiana, and he died in 1967. I believe he burnt up in Apollo 1. Uh, Apollo 1. One disaster. Um, let's see here. Uh, yep, Gus Grissom. Uh, Edward H. White II and Roger B. Shaffey. May you rest in peace. Yeah. So, we also have in 1927, uh, Wesley Brown. Uh, the first black U.S. Uh, Naval Academy graduate, born in Baltimore, Maryland. Cool. Uh -huh. so, uh, 1928, Earl Lloyd, first black U.S. basketball player in the NBA. I love that. Look at that. Yeah. Earl Lloyd. I got to add that in, like, right now. Actually, I'll add that, that in later. Um, actually, I'll add that in right now. Uh, Earl Lloyd, 1928. All right. 
I'll just save that there. At 29, we have Fazlur Rahman Khan. Uh, Khan! Mm -hmm. Bangladeshi, U.S. structural engineer and architect. Sears, the Willis Tower in Chicago. John Hancock Center in Chicago. Uh, pardon me, the Metrodome in Minneapolis. Born in Dhaka, British India, which is now Bangladesh. All right. Uh, 1930. Uh, nope, I thought that was the guy of coal. So, no, he's a politician. Uh, so, 1934. Uh, Jane Goodall. Uh, British primatologist, anthropologist, and writer. Through a window, my 30 years with the chimpanzees of Gombe. Born in Hampstead, London, England. That's oh, right wow. That's her from, from the... 34. Uh, yeah, the champ, the chimpanzees, yeah. I'm trying to remember how I... The name's familiar, but that's where it's got to be coming from. Yeah. We also have Petunia Pig, 1937. Warner Brothers cartoon character created by Frank Tashlin, Looney Tunes and Merry Melody series. First debuted in Porky's Romance. Mm. We have 1941 Carl Bonish, a, the U.S. father of base jumping, which stands for bridge, uh, uh, air, span, and earth. Uh, born in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Mm. And that's when you just jump off of things, yeah. you know, parachute. Yeah. yeah. 1941, Jan Berry, a U.S. rock and roll vocalist. Jan and Dean, Surf City. Oh. Born in Los Angeles, California. 1942, Herbie Green, a U.S. photographer best known for his portraits for rock and roll luminaries, The Grateful Dead. Born in Indio, California. So, like, luminaries, I believe that's uh, for the cover art. Yeah. Or the album art I think or whatever. So. Wayne Newton, 1942. Yeah, U.S. singer and entertainer. Daddy, Don't You Walk So Fast. Don Shane. Born in Norfolk, Virginia. And he was in uh, Vegas Vacation. Yes, he was. He, he wound the wife. We got uh, 1943, Hikaru Saiki, Japanese admiral, who was the first female star officer of the Japan Self-Defense Forces. Hmm. All right. 1950, we have Indrajit Kumaraswamy, Sri Lankan cricketer and economist. <laughs> cricketer? And he, cricketer, yeah. Uh, 1951, Annette Dolphin. Does she, does she net a dolphin? Uh, British academian, uh, ac academician, academician, a an educator. Well, that's a weird word. Academician. I, I, I'm I pronouncing that, that wrong. Um, anyway, 1958, we have Alec Baldwin, a U.S. actor, comedian, a producer, a television host, and murderer. So <laughs> They put that in there? No, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, of course they would. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, it just says here is he, he's, uh, yeah. he's Knott's Landing, Beetlejuice. He was in Beetlejuice? Uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, uh, Saturday Night Live, and of course, 30 Rock. The last two I know. Uh, I I have to see Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. I didn't know he was in that too. But then uh, we have 1961, Eddie Murphy. Oh. 62 today, a U.S. comedian and actor, Saturday Night Live from 1980 through 84. 48 Hours, Beverly Hills Cop, Raw, Pluto Nash. Uh, I believe he was the voice of Donkey and Shrek. Yeah, uh, I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, born in Brooklyn, New York. Let's have 1971 as well. Peekaboo Street, a U.S. skier. Peekaboo. <laughs> Peekaboo. Oh. Uh, 1973, Adam Scott, a U.S. actor in Parks and Recreation, born in Santa Cruz, California. Uh, 1980, Trevor Moore, U.S. Co actor and comedian, The Whitest Kids You Know, born in Montclair, New Jersey, and uh, he passed away a few years ago, unfortunately, in a tr tragic accident. Um, fell off his second floor balcony onto Ooh. his head. Uh, didn't make it. Uh, we also have uh, Amanda Bynes in 1986, U.S. actress, The Amanda Show. Remember her? No, uh, I don't. From Nickelodeon. Oh. Yeah. Uh, born in Thousand Oaks, California. Um... Let's see here. And we kind of skipped over a couple people, so let me uh, let me see. Ba -da -ba -da. Um, okay, I don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. All right. And we also have 1998 Paris Jackson, uh, U.S. actress, model, singer, and daughter of Michael, J a daughter of Michael Jackson, born in Los Angeles, California. All right. Hmm. Deaths in the year 33. We have Jesus Christ, died of crucifixion. According to the astronomer and Humphreys in Waddington, so, and he was born in year what zero, or year one? I don't know. But uh, yeah, Easter Easter is this Sunday, so. Yep. Well, so I have 963 William the Third, the Duke of Aquitaine. Okay, I don't know why that's in here. 
1153, we have Al Adil ibn al Salar, Vizier of the Fatimid Caliphate. 1171, Philip of Mili, the seventh Grand Master of the Knights Templar. Uh, 1680, Shivaji Bonsal, uh, Shiatrapati Shivaji <laughs> Maharaja, Indian warrior and founder of the Maharatha Empire, died of a fever and dysentery around the age of 52. So, founder of the Maharatha Empire, that's big. Uh, 1691, Jean Petiot, Swiss enamel painter. What's an enamel painter? You, like, you paint enamel? Like, oh, so, okay. Paint with enamel, I guess. Like, but isn't enamel what's on your teeth? Like, yeah, enamel's very hard. Huh. It's, it's uh, you, cut, you know, you put stones or color or everything, but enamel's very hard. So I don't quite understand that. Huh. And we also have 18, 1804, Jerzy Kitschowicz, Polish priest, historian, and author. Uh, 1827, um, Ernst Shell, uh, Chladli, German physicist, Chladli's law, estimating the speed of sound, instrument inventor, Eophon, Klavik, like cylinder, and musician, died at the age of 70. What the hell is, what is uh, this? I, I have no idea. Euphon. Okay, uh, in, that's a drug. Euphon instruments. Uh, okay, that. Hmm. So the euphonium. The, what is the, the clavici cylinder? I don't know. I have no clue. Oh, that. Okay. So, like, some kind of, like, piano type thing. All right. We also have uh, Edward Brigg, who died on this date in 1844, was an English cleric who was the first archaeologist of Life Linden's farm. All right. Jesse James, 1882, Ooh. U.S. criminal, hero, and outlaw. Um, I, you know, criminal in quotation yeah. marks by law. Uh, but you know, like I, I believe he did a lot of, you know, good things. For yeah. Him. So you know, for people. Um, we also have uh, Arthur Graham West, 1917, British writer and war poet. The diary of a dead officer killed by a sniper at around the age of 25. So he was, uh, you know, um, war correspondence back then. Somebody had to write it. Yeah. Somebody had to had to take the photos. Yeah. So, I mean, uh. Wait, who is this? Um, okay, let's uh, we're past that. Um, novelist, so you don't care about him. Okay, 1970, uh, 1936, Bruno Hoffmann, German kidnapper of Charles Augustus Lindenberg III, executed at 36. We spoke about that earlier today in the main yeah. body. Yeah. 1946, Masharu Homa, Japanese Lieutenant General, responsible for the Bataan Death March in the Philippines, Executed by firing squad for war crimes at 58. We spoke about that before as well. 1950, Carter G. Woodson, U.S. historian, author, and journalist who founded Black History Month. So, on the shortest month of the year. Yeah, great. Uh, 1971, Joseph Valishi, U.S. gangster. Apparently he looks like Joey Diaz. So let's uh, let's take a look at this. Joseph Valishi. Holy shit, he does. A little bit. Joey Diaz. Like, like a younger yeah. Joey Diaz. Yeah. So, and a thinner one. Very thinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Juan Tripp, was a U.S. airline pioneer and entrepreneur, Pan Am founder. Died at 81. Pan Am founder, huh? Yeah. Founder of Pan American. Yeah. Uh, Warren Oates, 1982, was an actor. And Pinky Lee, 93, U.S. television host. Frank G. Wells, a U.S. Com uh, company director, Walt Disney Company. Died in a helicopter crash at uh, 62. Ooh, that's not good. No. Uh, Jerome Lejeune, a French uh, geneticist, discovered the chromosome responsible for Down syndrome. Died Ooh. at the age of 67. Wow. That's major. Yeah. Uh, 1995, Alfred J. Bills, Canadian businessman who co-founded Canadian Tire. So, okay. you know them. Eugene Thierry Blanchy, 2010, South African white supremacist and leader of the far-right African Nainer uh, we, we're stands bearing, beaten to death over alleged political and racist motivations at 69. Uh, I'm surprised it took that long. So, <laughs> beaten to death. <laughs> Damn. Uh, 2014, Arthur Guitar Boogie Smith, U.S. guitarist, fiddler, and composer. I love that. 
I put that in because maybe you might know. Like I'm not sure. I, I don't. But uh, guitar boogie woogie. Yeah. Uh, Eric Bowsfeld, uh, Bows, Bowersfeld, 2016, U.S. voice actor for Admiral Akbar in Star Wars. It's a trap. Uh, yeah. Died at 93. So. Uh, Joe Medicine Crow, 2016, a Native American anthropologist, historian, and author. Uh, 2018, Nassim Najafi Agham, a psychopath who did the YouTube HQ shooting. So that was the one who did the YouTube shooting we talked about earlier today. Oh, okay. So, and then we have uh, David Ingerton, 2018, a U.S. entrepreneur and founder of Burger King, died of complications of surgery at the age of 90. Jeez, Dang. Burger King guy. Yep. And that shall conclude the show. Once again, you can check the underbar in the description for any links you may find interesting, including but not limited to all things Omni Coalition. For your dose of past events daily, we stream every day at 10 in the morning Pacific time, which is 11 Mountain, 12 Central, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For all of you and all of us, I am Eosander. Golden Lane. And you are you. And until you catch us tomorrow, don't, or, wait, yeah, today is Monday. Uh, until you catch us tomorrow, don't forget to look right and left at every intersection. Rate five thumbs and subscribe. Toodles.